now in a place called Parast. It's my last stop of the day. This place is supposed to be a little bit like Venice. So I'm guessing the Venetians actually ruled here for a while. So I'm guessing that uh, the Venetians built a lot of the buildings that we're about to see in the village itself. So the two islands you've just seen from the drone footage are over there in the bay. The one on the left, unfortunately the sun's behind them so it's not a great shot. But the one on the left there is St George's Island, that's private. And the one on the right is Our Lady of the Rocks Church. Both of them have got churches on but this one is open to the public. And that one I believe is completely uh, man-made. Here we go, look, really starting to see the Venetian influence here in this building. Just like being in Venice, Italy. Here's the fishing boats used by the locals to get out there and do some fishing. So this place was ruled by the Republic of Venice from the 1400s until the late 1700s. An example of Venetian architecture. This was originally a small palace that was finished in 1779. The mountains behind me are already casting a shadow onto the whole of Parast. It's a nice evening. Lots of places to eat down here by the waterfront. And whatever's cooking smells good, I can tell you that. Well, we've lost the sun. Parast, by the way, has a population of around 300 people. Sometimes there's more tourists here than residents. Not today, though. I'm pretty sure that that clock has stopped. I make it closer to six o'clock. Perhaps it hasn't been wound up today. Well, I'm glad I made it, even if it is just for a couple of hours. It's certainly worthy of a visit. Sun has set on another amazing day here in Montenegro. Look at those colours over the islands there. Well, after this morning, my legs are not happy with this. I thought I was going to walk behind the church. I guess I am, but it's a lot steeper than I thought it was going to be. I think I might pull a right. Well, I've made it up as far as I'm going to go today. Historically, Parast has been a fishing village, but it did enjoy an economic boom during the rule of the Venetian Republic here. 
especially in the 1700s. Okay, I'm going to head back down, see where these steps take me. There are 16 churches and 17 grand palaces here in this small village. The sun has now set, so I'm going to have a walk around. Still really warm, but I'm getting hungry. So I'm going to go and get some food, call it a day. Another fantastic full day of activities here in Montenegro. Gotta love the mystery of the mountains. I was somewhere up there earlier today, hiking to the summit of Vermak, a place called Saint Elia. Check out my previous video for that one. It was an unreal experience, that's for sure. Thank you.